What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Case Logic High Zoom Camera Case in Black I picked up at Target for $19.99. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions, uh, but you can tell it's a camera bag. It is a little bit different from a fanny pack, but what's really nice and one of the uh, features that I was uh, pretty much wanting with something this size was the ability to either sling it around my shoulder or wrap it around my waist. And I think you can pretty much do that because you do get a loop at the back here. Uh, I do have a Panasonic Lumix that's handheld that uh, is a really nice size and is really actually pretty discreet for street photography. That will fit exceptionally well in this camera. And I think you could even get an uh, full frame camera in this bag as well, but just the body, no lens. But that kind of defeats the purpose of a camera bag, right? If you're gonna transport your camera around, you're gonna wanna be able to store your lens and the body at the same time. So I don't necessarily recommend this for a DSLR, but uh, the Sony systems, the full frame Sony systems are actually small enough that they could fit in here theoretically just without the lens. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see just exactly how well it's built and what exactly we can get in it. So here we have the Case Logic High Zoom camera case in black. As you can see, this is an absolutely stunning camera case. What I really do enjoy is this contrasted orange piping running down the center of the bag itself. You do get a nice cushion handle at the top here so you can easily grip it. Uh, if you'll actually notice, you get really nice rubber black and orange tabs around the zipper poles. As you can see here, the build quality is exceptional. As you can see, I can pretty much unzip these side pockets with ease. What's also really nice is you actually get two side pockets. So you get one on the left side and one on the right side. And as you can pretty much notice inside the pouch itself is netting. So you can actually uh, specifically organize how exactly you want your items in this side pocket here. So I would maybe use the netting for your keys. I'm pretty confident you could get a full frame Sony camera in this bag. Even though this is the smallest size iPhone, this is a 4.7 inch iPhone, you are not going to be able to get this into either of the side pockets here. It's just a little bit too big. So last but not least, what I really do adore about this camera bag, which was another requirement of mine, was that I was able to either wrap it around my waist like a fanny pack or sling it around my shoulders. And I think you can pretty much do so. There's a very nice, sized loop at the back of the case here. As you can see, I'm getting about four fingers through this loop here, so it's extremely wide. You could fit a wide array of belts and straps through it. Now, one thing I can pretty much guarantee here is this is not going to be water resistant, but as you can see, uh, it's actually pretty thick. It's pretty durable, and what I really like is, you'll see, you can pretty much scrunch it up, and that's a good thing because if you were to drop this on the floor with some of your camera accessories in it, it will compress, and it should save whatever you have inside from breaking. As you can see, there's actually really nice padding at the bottom here, and this entire case, the materials being used in it are just really thick, and what's actually also really nice about being able to sort of mush it down is, you'll also be able to get more in this bag as well. So if it does need to be overstuffed a little bit, you don't have to worry about it ripping apart because the stitching here is seamless and all these materials are extremely rugged and high quality. Now, this is actually a good side profile here. And what I am happy to report is you do get the strap in the bag. We'll go ahead and detach this from the bag itself because it is held in. Uh, and then what's actually really nice is I think you'll notice you actually get a little orange deviated pocket on the inside. Uh, as you can see, I can get about four fingers down in there once again. So a lot of space and a lot of room to work with here. And then at the top of the camera bag itself, at the top of the pocket here, you do get a zipper pocket. And the zipper is actually kind of tucked underneath this uh, little sort of cover here, but we can pretty much unzipper it and it's a nice thin pocket. You could probably also get 
a couple of ID cards in there. You could put an extra battery in there. You might even be able to fold up a small cable in there, like a micro USB cable, a charging cable of some sort, and get it in this pocket. Like I was saying, one of my biggest concerns earlier was that you weren't able to get the smallest size iPhone in either of the side pockets, but as you can pretty much see here, uh, that little orange pocket on the inside is deep enough and wide enough to uh, take an iPhone here. So this is the smallest size iPhone, but many of us are using much larger phones now. And as you can see, the iPhone 12 Pro fits perfectly in here. We can close this up and not have to worry about it, right? So, but one thing Target, I think, did get right here was ease of use. And as you can see, the camera bag strap itself just pretty much hooks on to the side of the case here. So we can pretty much just attach this, no problem. It's a little bit slippery, but just bear with me there. It just requires a little bit of a steady hand. And then we can pretty much just uh, arc it over the bag and attach it to the opposite side. And as you can see, we've got a pretty nice little camera bag here that you can either hold by the top of the handle, wrap around your waist by running a belt through this back loop, or you can pretty much wear this around the shoulder here. Uh, it is adjustable here, so you can pretty much adjust it to however you want. But last but not least, what's really important here is uh, these loops at the side are large enough to accommodate pretty much any style strap. So if you maybe want to customize this bag a little bit and get a strap that you like, uh, you don't have to use this one. This is just uh, a really nice addition and really just a bonus that it comes with it and that you can use the bag this way. So now that we've got the strap on here, let's go ahead and just pretty much see if we can't weigh this bag down. So I'm actually going to put both of my smart devices in this front pocket here. As you might remember, I do actually have my wallet and keys in this pocket and my extra batteries in this pocket. Not quite sure if that's the particular order, but this is pretty much how I'm going to go out and take my photography. So like I was saying, I am using this as a prop for a compact digital camera. It doesn't have the protrusion that it normally would have because a camera will have a lens, but this is the same size and it's actually heavier. So we should be pretty much even on that one. We've got the 45 to 170 APS-C lens here. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we could pretty much tuck that down in there and not have a problem. I think we could still, uh, okay, so this might be just a little bit too much. I think if you're going to have your camera out and you're shooting, uh, you're definitely going to be able to put the lens inside. So let's see if we can maybe get two lenses in here. So with just a little bit of finagling, uh, as you can see, you can actually stack them. So uh, we've got a full frame lens on the bottom there, it's a 50 mil. And then we can pretty much stack our 45 to 170 zoom lens on top. Now we should be pretty much able to close this camera bag and it's actually pretty nice and hefty. That's something to keep in mind that if you're going to be, you know, doing a little bit of street photography uh, and you want a couple of extra lenses, you're going to have to adjust this accordingly. But uh, the news here is that you can either have the camera in the bag and transport the camera itself, no lenses, and it's going to weigh just a little bit less and be a little bit more uh, easier to carry around. Or if you wanna just extend the amount of items you can take with you, you're going to have to take your camera out of the bag so that you can get your couple of additional lenses in here, no problem. And you're gonna to have to pretty much just work it uh, however it suits you. So the unfortunate part here is you can't get the camera and the additional lenses in the bag. Uh, it's either one or the or. But I think what you'll notice is the side pockets actually zip up opposite to the top pocket. So the top pocket, when the case is turned, backwards is going to zip outwards, making it easy to grab whatever is inside. But if you actually have it flush up against your body the way it's supposed to be, as you'll notice, the belt loop side is the flat 
flush side and the front of the case is sort of uh, rounded off, making it slightly off kilter, wearing it on your side backwards. But when you wear it flat, you have easy access to the side buttons or the side pockets and very difficult, sort of a backwards access to the top pocket there. So just trying something out here. And what I quickly want to point out is it's really worn better flush with the, with the side pockets more accessible. And last but not least, you can dangle this case around your neck. Uh, it actually gives you great access to the top pocket and the side pockets. Now I'm holding a camera, so it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but if I did have two hands, getting anything out of this top pocket would be extremely simple. But as you can see, yeah, you can wear this around your neck, across the body, and around the belt loop as well. Uh, and what's also really nice is you can dangle other accessories off this uh, key ring here using a carabiner or what have you. This is a super awesome camera case. Great for street photography, discreet, but big enough to carry all of your items and a couple of additional accessories so you can get the best shot. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions. Because I picked this item up at Target that does make it a big box good, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Also, before I log out here, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting this channel. My subscribership has been off the charts lately. Uh, we went from like 1,780 subscribers. We went right through 1,800 subscribers. We're at 1,810 right now. It's been absolutely phenomenal this past month. The first couple of months this year, I had a hard time gaining subscribers, keeping subscribers, but we're finally growing again and I'm super excited. Also, another announcement I wanna make and thank you so much for is the lifetime views on this channel are about to pass 1 million. So it is 8.30, it is April 15, 2021, and we are currently sitting at 997,700 views. So by the end of day tomorrow, we should officially pass a million views, if not the next day for sure. So. Uh, super important milestone, uh, something I've worked extremely hard for. It wasn't my original goal. I did not set out to accumulate a million views, but I did set out to grow this channel and a million views is a great milestone and it's something uh, to definitely cherish and take the time to say thank you so much for helping me achieve that because it is super important. Uh, so with that being said, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Uh, we're going to be reviewing some more awesome things coming up in the future from brands you've never heard of and from stores you have heard of. So yeah, this is uh, super awesome that we're able to do this and I couldn't be any more thankful. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.